Hello and welcome to my channel when the stars aligned. My name is Kelly Rowland and this video is about Venus in Cancer and this is part of my Venus series. So this video is for you if your Venus placement falls within the Cancer sign. So what makes up a person who has Venus in Cancer? Well, love for you, relationships for you, sensuality and sexuality for you. It's very linked to your deep, tender, maternal, nurturing level. And there are a few ways that this can take shape. And it's quite a dynamic and an edgy energy because it crosses lots of boundaries in a really epic way. So one way we can look at it is that in love, in relationships, you can really show up as this tender, nurturing, deeply devoted partner. Whether you're a man or a woman, you bring this maternal energy. You bring this care and this tenderness. And this is something that whoever you choose to bask in this light of your love is very lucky because you don't just open up your heart and your home to anybody. You open up your heart and your home to people you really trust. So for people to earn your trust, they have to exude some level of worthiness that you see in them, some special spark within them. And this may be more linked to your moon sign what you how you emotionally connect to others but there's another dynamic to venus and cancer and i see it as the erotic mother now this is an archetype that i'm familiar with and the erotic mother is you know so often we pin maternal in nature this maternal nature and this motherliness as a very innocent non-sexual thing but the erotic mother is someone who is turned on in their juice by their ability to give and provide deep love and nurturing and so often we can shun the mother archetype as a non-sexual being mothers no they're not sexual <laughs> it's like mothers are deeply sensual and sexual you know they birth this baby through their body in their womb and whether you're a man or a woman listening to this take it symbolically it's like there's something in you that can be so deeply aroused by being needed by those that you desire and your partner in life or even your friends. It can really turn you on. So for Venus and Cancer people, allow yourself to feel turned on. Know that you can feel turned on and be in your deep giving, serving state. You don't have to sacrifice one or the other. And your nurturing is so yummy. And again, it's such a gift for those who are lucky enough to receive it. And when you have a lover who is open to your deep sensual states, and is open to you seeing them, and letting you see them, and letting themselves be seen by you, and also letting you nurture them, this can be a huge turn on for you. But it's important for you to make sure, Venus and Cancer people, that you don't get roped into or thrust yourself into relationships in which you are constantly being the mother or the father figure if you're a man. Where you're just caring for your partner and it's kind of like they're a kid and you're having to help them all the time and give them all your energy because this is going to drain you. Even in relationship, even though you love to give, you need your time to retreat and just bask in your own juiciness, bask in your own dark, mysterious yumminess, and then emerge and be there for those who are part of your tribe. You're someone who has a lot to give, but make sure in your relationships that you feel recognized and you feel like not only are people open to your giving, but they acknowledge you for it. And they also give to you in return because nothing feels better than for you to just be fully devoted to someone who cherishes you, who lets you give as much as you want, but also gives back. This feels so incredible for you because you're so used to what it feels like to give and you may not be so used to what it feels like to receive. So this healthy dynamic of give and take in your relationships is gonna be a really important factor. And if you're in a relationship where that's not happening and it's a lot of just you giving, it's not gonna last. And it's a relationship that's gonna make you really bitter and snappy like the crab. But when you've got that tide flowing in and out, someone who acknowledges your need for space and your need for this deep erotic connection and this deep kind of needy love that's not need based in like a shadow of clinginess, but it's a need, like this need to merge and connect and be kin and be family. When someone can meet you in that depth 
and also meet you in the space for retreat, you know you found someone who's truly special, whether it's a long-term thing or a short-term thing. I feel like Venus and Cancer people tend to go long-term <laughs> and not dive in fully until they find someone that they want to go long-term with. So you may find yourself single for a while, um, but it's like you know that you're holding out for something that's worth it because you don't want to just open up and expose yourself to something that you don't feel 100% sure about. So there you have it, Venus and Cancer. What a beautiful, yummy energy. I hope you have enjoyed. Definitely leave a comment if you have and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for all the juicy magic coming your way.